The best part of the Highland Show for us is being able to engage with our customers. Uh, we really love that interaction with uh, people who may buy our products in other shops, but we don't normally get to meet. So it's a fantastic way to, to meet the public, basically. The best part of the Highland Show for me personally is probably uh, getting to go around and see how much Scottish produce is out, is out there and how much sort of work goes into everything we do in Scotland in terms of food and drink. It grows every, every, every year um, and getting a chance to taste and sample that is probably just a little bit of a highlight for me I would say. It's been fantastic being part of East Lothian Food and Drink at the Royal Highland Show, partly because it gives us access to the Highland Show in a way we wouldn't have access if we were just trying to come in ourselves as a small producer. And secondly, the brand of East Lothian um, is, is clearly something that resonates with people, so being sort of under that umbrella really helps us get our message across as well. So the benefits of working together with other producers in East Lothian and also with the help of the council is the fact that we can not only do shows like this collectively and really make an impact um, as a kind of East Lothian brand, but also um, share and look, well, look, look, look ahead to potentially share delivery routes, share buy our, and, and collective buying power to really make our business work on the small scale but create some sort of community between all the different companies. Well, the benefits of working with other producers, East Lothian Council, uh, for us is that being two people on our own, there's only so much we can do ourselves. Uh, we're also very inexperienced with what we do, so getting the knowledge and uh, the feedback and the help and assistance of people who've been in the industry for a lot longer is essential as far as we're concerned. We all have the same problems, no matter what we're selling. So it's getting out there, it's the cost, it's the ups and downs and the mistakes you make. And if you go and talk to other people, sometimes it can just reassure you that you're not alone in making those mistakes. And other times um, you can avoid making them because you chat to people. It's, all, it's always good to network, it's always good to chat to other people, yeah. Being part of a sort of collective community branding has been quite good for us. People actively seek out East Lothian food and drink uh, because of how good it is. Uh, you see lots of other uh, different counties and communities and councils doing the same thing at that Royal Island show and I think it really does help people distinguish the different parts of the Scottish food and drink culture. As producers of our own product and our own brands we recognise how important branding is and a rebrand for uh, East Lothian has been very um, powerful in grabbing people's attention. So I really love the way it's now being presented and the new colour schemes. It's a lot more attractive and progressive, um, which really, as you can see from our produce, is very colourful and uh, it, it, I think it reflects us really well. And I think the, the, the branding is a, a, another huge step forward. It's bright, it's vibrant. And for me, having spent my whole life in the fields and farms of East Lothian, it just sings East Lothian to me. The bid for us is very important in terms of going forward with sales and distribution because it is quite a tough market out there. So sometimes a smaller producer might not be able to work as closely with the supermarkets as they like because they're not prepared. And a business improvement district with the expertise that can be provided through sales advisors we can get forward with our product into new markets. And the bid, the, the bid's certainly on the way to satisfying our needs. I mean, things are currently ramping up. Um, you know, it's only in the last year or so, so that things have started. But certainly with the pilot wholesale operation, we're already seeing you know, some sales trickle through and certainly contacts in the market are starting to um, you know, improve and get there as well. So we see in the next year or two, things really starting to come through um, from the bid side of things. I, th I think the bids uh, is a fantastic innovation. It's going to open up new markets that we couldn't possibly have uh, achieved ourselves. Again, it's that strength and numbers thing, and it's going to help us greatly, I believe, in the future.